Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the serious Dirty Gamer and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 as the Empire of Japan. It is 1945, we are fighting the Americans very strongly in the continental United States. It is a very brutal fight so far. We can see over here in the water that we have so far lost about 500,000 men against the Americans. Manchukau probably has lost another 100,000 only. Okay, I would have thought more. Venezuela has lost a number of men against the Americans. And the Americans themselves have lost more than 4 million soldiers in their war against us. So it is very, very brutal. And the reason for that is all of this mountainous terrain. But yeah, we are hoping to do some things better. We are trying to cut into here, into this province in Northern California, while we are simultaneously trying to pin these guys down here uh, in before we can attack them, or so that they can't withdraw into this area over here. They have 22 divisions down here, and it would be extremely nice if we were able to kill them. Uh, still, the Americans do have about three to 500, 400 divisions, so yeah, 22. It, it would be nice to kill them. But yeah, let's see about that. In between episodes, I also went ahead and asked a couple of our divisions uh, or armies to come up over here, including the second special naval landing forces and these guys here from the first fast army, so these motorized brigades. We are trying to get most of Nevada and we are surely going to conquer that very soon. Overrun for, I would hope, some enemies. And it does appear like that, so that is nice to see. We are being counter-attacked and we are being thrown back, I believe. No, we actually held out, so that's nice to see. You guys are advancing. No, why don't we advance into this terrain if there is no enemy concurrently? Right, and I think we can take these forces as well. You're going down there, that's okay. Let's try to move up with these motorized forces. You are coming up over there. All in all, I think that's all right, but maybe take two force, two two divisions up into this terrain. Do you know what? You can advance into there because it's unoccupied. Right, you are defending. You're not doing anything, so let's get you up over there as well. Yeah, we are being attacked immediately. That's all right. We are pushing them back. So with the terrain, I believe we should be fine over there. So. You know what, maybe we can also try to do an attack towards this area here. Yeah, and it's not going very well, but at least we are attacking. And you are advancing there, that's okay. You two are advancing to this area. They're not advancing down here, so we might be fine. We might just be able to cut these guys off down there. Let's, let's hope for the best. Right, up over here in, what's this, Arizona and Utah. I do believe we can. Yeah, you are actually advancing, so why don't we try to get you guys into moving over there. Let's not take the motorized division for now. We will come up a little bit later with these guys. And that should then be okay. So you two can support this attack, I believe, so we are getting a little bit more frontage. And then these guys should start to drop very quickly, and there we go. Right, you are still advancing, so that's nice to see. You even beat back these guys, I appreciate that ex a lot. And you're coming up against these divisions, so why don't we try to attack into here as well. Not very successfully, but all in all, we are still doing a lot of damage, and most importantly, we are pinning them in place. Hmm. Okay, that's unfortunate. Now, let's try to attack here so that's only one division yeah we did not manage to to pin these guys down but wait a second wait a second okay now you are advancing into here that's all right then you are advancing into there maybe how about we attack into here uh, let's try to find out how well they are positioned there not at all why have you such an extremely high? You're not exceeding your combat width. That's that's silly. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Okay, so let's try to get you over here because that does mean a lot of you guys will be overrun. Let's try to get you up over here. 
and you guys will try to come up while you are coming into here you are advancing to that area you are coming there that's nice let's bring you here via railroad you're pinning these guys in place which I appreciate so, not you, but all of you can attack into there. You can attack into here. And then we might be able to cut off this entire area. And wouldn't that be lovely. We might just be able to pull that off. You'll be certainly thrown back, won't you? That's not actually that sure. 24 divisions on their side. But also probably 24 divisions down here, yeah. Are being kicked back a little bit. You guys are alright. Maybe I can convince one of you gentlemen. Just one to advance into here as well. And then let's take these four guys into attack over there. That's alright, good. Let's also watch the trade because I think we still need steel actually. They cancelled the lands and lead lease agreement, that's okay. Did sink a submarine, that's lovely. We are landing in a couple of these areas so you have managed to take that okay let's bring you over there we're trying some other place you are fine you should then potentially prepare a naval attack from here into this bit we have one division over there half of you again four divisions that's all right and i believe these guys are fun and fine Good. We also captured all of this terrain, didn't we? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So pretty much all of the Caribbean being dealt with. Okay, that's good. So that means we can continue with the next attacks. And that might include the torpedo fleet, which we are going to send to the Florida coast and to the Saragossa coast, but not to the Caribbean anymore. And then these guys should start their attack fairly soon afterwards. Down here then. So, why are you advancing into here? Why are you not? See, that's bothering me because you could. I'm fairly certain of that. Right, you can attack into there. You're advancing into there already. Let's bring these motorized divisions up over here into the north where they can potentially do some good things for us. Good, okay. You are defending over here, so let's bring you over there. You're doing this. Afterwards, I would like you to come over there. Some of you guys are advancing into various stages over there. You are coming up like that. That's okay. You're coming there. You're defending over there. That's okay. Let's bring you there. And if we get this, we'd be so much better. We'd be off so, so well. But it is a difficult fight. Okay, over here... We are doing alright. Not splendid, but alright. Defending over here. Let's try to support this attack. That's okay. Good. Um, you could further advance. You're coming there. That's okay then. We do need to be careful not to overextend ourselves. But so far everything is alright. Specifically if we are to capture this area. And this area okay so now they have put some forces there if we advance with both our divisions we might be able to beat them you guys are fine we have three divisions over here now that's pretty good you should advance there so some of you guys are going to this area and you are obviously going to this area so let's try to pin you and let's try to pin you. I don't think we'll be successful over there. Uh, but it does warrant some, some losses if... Ah, you can't do it. It does warrant some losses if these guys are... Will be hold out for a little bit longer. Especially now you're coming over here, aren't you? Yeah. There we go. And now these guys are... Are surrounded. So what have we got? 36 divisions lovely extremely good result let's make sure that these guys are okay so the second Japanese army you guys you are all part still part of this front 
This is that front. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. And y I don't even want you to to guard this. On the other hand, we have 14 divisions from the Munchakaim front. You'll be alright. Let's advance into here. But we could wait for a second. That, that might not be the worst idea. 10 divisions up here? I think that's okay. That's roughly appropriate. So, second army will be focusing on this front line. So, first army does have that one. Let's think about that for a second. So, the first army... I think your front line is a little bit too small. So, let's focus the second army on really this northern front. And then I think it does make sense if the first army is watching this part of the front. And this is first army then? Yeah. You don't actually need to be over here. No one actually needs to be over here. Right. Ah, okay. No, that, that does always get reshuffled. Okay, that, that's fine. Okay, and then the first army... No, just the first army. Your front line is going to be... Sorry, your offensive line is going to be somewhat generally towards this area. Good. You can actually advance into here. You'll be trying to attack there. Don't want to do anything. You can. You'll be all right where you are. That's fine. Right. And then the second army does also need a job. And your job is going to be in advance towards, say, the Canadian border like this. Very generally defined. And the third army down there can actually go on an attack mission. Likewise for the first army. You know what, likewise for the second army. We'll keep the control on to them. Good, so we are being attacked over here. We, we have a lot of damage that we are doing to these guys. And they should start to see some losses very soon on their organization. Because they are being in trend. They are being um, pushed back. Are we advancing into here now? We are not. We are being mostly attacked from this direction. So let's actually try to push again. I know we have horrible, horrible organization. Fault ill. Okay, that is unfortunate. But, but. So we are now defending over here a little bit better, and that's fine. We did win the battle over there. So I think now this battle down here was just a diversion anyway. So let's stop that for a second. Let's also see these pot strike results. Okay, so that's all right. Insufficient resources. Still more steel needed. Okay, so that should deal with that. There is a spotted enemy navy up here. That's all right. So, yeah. And we have a naval battle over here. Where American devastators did damage one of our fleets. Significantly as well. Uh, you should actually be able to split off. Whenever required. Good. All right, so 36 divisions up here. Extremely happy about that result. You guys are all streaming towards different directions. You are attacking a little bit into there and there. That's okay. You're advancing. You're advancing. You can advance as well. Because I believe we will be able to take this area pretty quickly. Good. So that really does mainly leave us with the question of California. Are you already feeling the pain from low organization? You are. We'll probably be losing over here. But it also is kind of nice if they are losing their dog in bonuses and all of that. Right. And you know what? You can actually advance into some of these victory points. Maybe up towards Seattle, I, th I believe. Right. And there. So that's okay. Yeah. Now we've been counterattacked down here, but we should see them win fairly easily. There we go. Being counterattacked and counterattacked and counterattacked. 
That's fine though. Let's make sure to attack them as well. And we should throw them back fairly easily into this area. And likewise down here. Let's do some damage while we can. 69% that looks pretty good. Yeah, and they are being thrown back. Good. We also have a couple of unassigned divisions, some anti-partisan units. That's fine, you know what? I believe we can already assign it towards the and the party and parties in units in California. They are making sure that we don't suffer from partisans too much. That is a fairly important job. Are you advancing? No, you're doing silly things. You're holding up pretty nicely. You can advance because you are coming here. That's all right. And you know what? You guys can. All advance someplace. Good. We should see some of the reinforcements coming up, I think, more or less soon. Yeah, there we go. You guys are landing at a weird spot, but you know what? That's fine. Losing over here, winning over there, winning over here. Very good. So, yeah, you should really come into this province sooner rather than later. Likewise, you over there. And we are pushing up in northern Seattle. Good. Very, very good. So actually what we could do is think a second here about the air results. Some fighters present in this area. So let's actually send another of these air groups towards the Rocky Mountains. That should be okay. Good. Right. Winning, winning, winning. Beating these guys back. Beating these guys back. And you know what? Let's pick you. One of you. You guys. And you. 51%. That's not the best. Uh, but I think it's important to free up this area as soon as possible. Right, yeah, and we are doing fine, so. Still a very difficult result. Port strikes. Submarines being sunk, that's okay. No further airstrikes or anything off the sword, so that's okay too. I'm wondering when these guys will show up over there. Green Army seems to be doing an, a good job over here. Maybe except for you. You shouldn't go. Let's take the AA guys. And let's take at least one of you. 15 divisions. These, the Americans are still extremely strong. I mean, we are winning in some of these battles. But still, it's such a horrible, horrible fight. What are you guys doing? How do you support this attack? How are you doing? Are you still advancing? No, you are not. Okay, interesting. So they should lose fairly soon over here. There we go. You can stop that attack. You, I believe, should support this attack. You're throwing anyway. I won't just win. Right. Okay. You guys are all doing fine. Yeah. Capturing Seattle would be extremely nice. Uh, same actually though with Salt Lake City. How about you guys? Can't you advance? You could, see? I knew it. Yeah, so some very nice pushes over here. How about you? Do need this area. Especially the airport would be extremely nice to capture. Right. Over here though, we are not doing fairly good on this battle, so let's wait a second over here until yeah, so there we go. Come on, you're defending now, that's okay. Ten divisions over here. 76, 78. 
I do hope that these overruns don't don't affect us. It doesn't look like it, so that's okay. Type 95 heavy tanks. We've neglected tanks for most of the game, and now we are trying to catch up a little bit, so we are trying to get to modern tanks, and I think the fastest way to do that is actually via... There we go, a lot more overruns, and in a few seconds... We should see that we are getting some good results over here. Come on. How many losses have the Americans suffered now? They still... Ooh, they only have up to 300 divisions, so that's a fairly good result for us. And overall, they've suffered five million losses against us. So that was probably a million soldiers or so that we lo that they lost in the last couple of months. And they are still losing more over here as these guys are closing in on this pocket. How many wars was that? At least another hundred thousand. So extremely bad results for the Americans. Our landings being conducted over here. That's nice to see. We're also bringing up a couple of marines over there. There will be a battle about the Bahamas. So that is something to keep in mind. We should also take a look at South America though. You know what? Let's do a probing attack over here. I want to find out how many divisions are here. 15. That's an hilariously... Hilariously strong army even. Okay, let's try to do this down here another time. We might be able to break through if we are persistent enough. Let's try. Let's also keep an eye on the supply situation, which looks fine, actually, more or less. And on the trade situation, because I believe... Trade, come on, trade. We might be buying too much steel. Well, we are not for now, but soon we might be. Okay, let's also advance into Canada. Spokeki. You are doing something nice. You are going to that direction. Good. Fairly good result. And you guys all should be reassigned over there. And some free military factories, which we will reinvest probably in artillery. We, because we still have a thousand. We are producing and producing artillery. And we are losing it so extremely quickly. So It's amazing. We are producing 90 artillery a day. And we are still losing that more, more rapidly than, than we can rebuild it. Uh, you, that's that's not a good attack. Right. Will we be ever able to take out these divisions? It seems like we are. So that's fairly nice. Do we have motorized divisions up over here? We do have 19 motorized divisions arriving soon. So that, whoop, 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 what's this? Empty provinces. Advance. Good. Right. And extremely empty areas over there. Very nice. Uh, let's keep an eye on the air situation because these 400 fighters, I don't believe, need to be guarding the west coast anymore. There are rather few aircraft in the west coast area. Let's actually bring them over the Rockies. And that's pretty cool. Good. I'm not trying to capture that. Is there anything else? Trying to get over there. Few victory points up here. Is there steel? Steel would be extremely welcome. There is no steel in Canada, basically. There's a lot of oil, but we don't. We really got over our oil troubles rather rapidly. You're going there, aren't you? Well, you don't necessarily need that. Yeah, good. Right. Fast army. Second army. I mean, you are trying to attack, so... We should see that happening. And you are advancing to this area. And indeed, you have captured it. Good. Let's take an eye on the construction, because we do need to make sure that we are rebuilding any infrastructure that is damaged. California is being repaired. It will take ages. It will take a very long time. But we're also building up some raid installations. And now our front line has moved away from that already. So uh, let's try to build up some over here. 
And I do think some down here would be nice. That actually means we can stop building in California itself. So that's all right. No, 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 console. Yeah, like that. Pretty good. And all in all, the infrastructure seems to be going on all right. Yeah, so it's finally some resistance up there. You're all rather good at repositioning. And the first army, guys, be part of the attack plan. Good. And the third army, you don't seem to have an attack plan. So let's give you one. Your job is going to be to capture this state. It's amazingly funny to, to watch these American areas. Good, good stuff over here. Seemingly we are not able to break through over there, but what happens if we attack into the flanks of these units? Apparently we are doing fine. Over here? Yeah, six divisions only. So yeah, we will be able to capture that. You'll be able to get down there. You, um, I realize you're very, it's a very thin line over there. But still, I think we'll be able to do this. So that's fine. First army, having some successes up here. Salt Lake City proving a little bit stubborn. Second army approaching some hostile lines over there. Can you get to Spokeki, I wonder? Uh, why don't you capture a little bit more of this area? Around Vancouver. And you'll be able to pop this area. Yep, there we go. Nice. Get over there. Auto saving. You capture this area. Yeah. Right. Can you do more over here? Not really. Okay. Both of you stop. Stop. Good. So. We might actually take a look at how close the Americans are to surrendering. 24%. Yeah, and we did capture both of these areas. So what will happen next is we are going to prepare an invasion against the east coast of the United States. Um, and that should hopefully allow us to, uh, yeah, really throw them out. We do have another army down here, the 4th Japanese army. Can you actually, you could do something. Uh, the fourth Japanese army, which we will send up over here um, and support that. We also have very low supplies in an in, in area. What area is this? This? Really? Well, we do have a harbor over here. Well, that might actually yeah, need to be repaired properly. Right. Other than that, though, transfer salt, you're really low. Other than that, though, we are repairing and rebuilding quite a couple of things uh, rather quickly. So I'm pretty happy about that result. And yeah, very soon, I believe, we are going to find ourselves in a very good position to demand the surrender of the Americans at some point. I mean, they are still extremely strong. They still have about 300 divisions um, and probably, probably a lot of equipment. Still, we are pushing hard against them. So, 1946. Will the Americans develop nukes? I don't know. Um, they seem to be hard-coded to, to develop, try to develop nukes at least. So yeah, we'll have to see about that. And uh, nothing really happening with the UK. I do expect the Germans are uh, sending up a lot of forces there. But yeah, let's see about that. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.